Suzanne Ridgway. This is Lettuce Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a video about a bunch of things. We're going to do some light cleaning. We're going to talk about free storage options. We're going to talk about decluttering and organizing and keeping things organized and decluttered after you've done them. I have so much to offer for today's video to help you maintain all your hard work. So please, if you haven't already, look for that red subscribe word and click on it. And give the video a big thumbs up. Also, tap the bell. It should be on top of the subscribe word. So YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. I have a bag of a bunch of free storage options beneath me on the floor here. And when I get into the video, I will show you each and every one of them, or you can use them in different areas of your house. And there are so many things on Pinterest and YouTube where you can make them look pretty or repurpose them into something else that are downright genius and clever to utilize them within your own home. So when you're out shopping and you're buying products for your home, especially food products, and it's something that you always buy and you just like look at the packaging and said, hey, when this is empty, I can use this for something else in my home instead of throwing it away. That's recycling and it's good recycling. So let's get into the video. I'm going to start by tackling my sink here. Get the water hot. Not too hot, but just so it feels like a slight bee sting. I'm going to get all these dishes washed. I was very tired yesterday. And it's okay if you leave a sink full of dirty dishes. You don't have to be completely perfect when not Mary Poppins. Or a Disney princess. And I have a few dishes in here. It's not an overabundant amount. Just make sure that the forks get really cleaned. One of my kids went to a sleepover last night. They were very excited. Her and their friends have been friends since kindergarten. So we live in different parts of New York. We still see them a few times a year. And after I wash up all these dishes, I am going to give the sink a nice deep clean. Today we are going to be grilling a ribeye. It's going to be beautiful out later. And I'm going to take my 11 year old over to the state park to plan the swings. She'll have to wear her mud boots because it is kind of wet and muddy still, but it's going to be really nice today. Starting with the mega size Fruit Loops box. You can make so many things out of that box for storage in your home, for your desk. You can make drawer organizers out of these larger size boxes of cereal as I did in my kids room. There are countless possibilities instead of throwing it away. This was from Aldi with the lid. It had our eclairs in it and I can gift all kinds of leftovers to my friends in it and not have to worry about getting my container back. This was my Arizona chips and dip dish this is perfect for a drawer for organizing things. The empty spice bottle can hold so many tiny things. Always save them. Also, a Lunchables, another great option for your drawer for those small tight corners to house many things within the drawer. My empty ricotta cheese container, also a great way to give leftovers to friends and family members and not have to worry about getting the container back. Your 28 ounce size cans or even the smaller ones. I have utensils housed in mine. I took the label completely off and you can decorate these any way you wish. I saw a clever craft where someone used an old sweater and made it look really pretty. Here is a kids cuisine container. Again, perfect for a drawer organizer in your child's desk drawer. 
paper clips, rubber bands, thumbtacks, pens and pencils. And same thing with this kid's cuisine one. I save a lot of these. An empty tissue box houses all my bags. For your larger empties, I use my, these for flour and sugar. I don't cover them up, although I should, and then label them so I know what's in them. But I just keep sugar in one on my counter, and we wash it out when it empties and replace it every few months. It's a great way to reuse items and not have to spend anything to get it. When this jar is empty, I'll be keeping it. It's a great way to store things. You can freeze soups in them in your freezer. And the cotton candy containers from the Dollar Tree. Another thing that holds a lot of food that you can gift to your friend and not have to worry about the container coming back. These are great examples of free food storage that you didn't even know you had because you buy them anyway. So when you look at your packaging and it's something that you always buy, don't throw it away. Wash it out and reuse it within your own home. I'm going to start by making the bed. I'm going to do a sweep. This is one of our smaller rooms. This is my youngest bedroom. She likes to sleep on my fold-out couch. And she recently got rid of a lot of dolls. My teen, however, who's almost 17, still likes their dolls. I recently went through all these drawers, as I said, and I ran out of cereal boxes, but I'll have some more soon so I can finish what I was doing. And it's staying organized, and it used to look in the drawer, and it was just all in one big glump. And now I can take things out of the drawer. She gets dressed faster. She sees what she wants to wear. She takes it out. Genius. I should have been doing it all along. I have to do a sweep in here. And I got these at Five Below. They were three bucks. And I want to inquire them with her makeup. She's into makeup. And she, I, I never really wore makeup. I did for a few years when I was a teen, early 20s. My 11 year old loves it. And she's extremely good with It's so natural the way she puts it on. I, just, well, I would love for her to do a YouTube channel to teach young kids how to wear it. I know a lot of parents are against it. But if they had someone that was trustworthy, like my kid, that can teach them how to wear it properly so you don't look like a cake, but you look natural, I think it would be a huge hit on YouTube. I had bought these by Jot at the Dollar Tree. That's cooking concepts. They're like can holders. And it's just really not working. So I'm hoping the ones that I just showed you from Five Below will. Let's start by taking everything off when you do a decluttering. And I just wiped the dresser down. It's an old hand-me-down, so it's got a lot of drawings on it because my children were little once. I'm gonna take everything off. And I'm gonna take the organizers from Five Below. So you can see a little better. I will show you a top view when I'm done.
this way when my daughter comes to her dresser, she can look and see what she wants. Now this will fit right in here, and then she has her Dollar Tree LED light mirror, and I don't know if there's batteries in it. Let's try. Nope. But they work very well, and they're very bright. There's a polish there. I don't know where the lid is to this. Here is what it looks like. Everything's in reach and she can see everything and it's not all over the place. As long as she puts things back the way she finds them, she will stay organized. I will be using these that I replaced in Jacqueline's room and I'll be using these that I showed you for free food storage. Trying to help you reduce waste, reduce recycling, and utilizing things in a different way where you weren't necessarily thinking that you could but you can. Today's video was a bunch of different things getting your daily maintenance done to keep the cosmetics within your four walls running smoothly of all the hard work that we're doing with decluttering and organizing. Yesterday we did my teen's closet and it came out really good and I will link that video below. Also I have a haul for $150 value for three different stores, Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Five Below, where I got stuff for my home to help me stay further organized. And it's been an exhausting adventure, but it is worth it. So you control your home and your home doesn't control you. Same thing with the clutter. You control the clutter. The clutter does not control you. We can get it all done. And to get it all done, why not hit that red subscribe button and click on it? Also, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And look for that bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video.